Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm about to start getting ready for the day and I figured it was time to do a little updated everyday makeup routine because I post a lot of little tiny makeup routines on TikTok and everything, but I don't really go in depth with the products and I always get questions about the products. So I'm going to do this in-depth video where I show you every single product, what shade I use, different products that I switch between. I'm gonna just give you guys all the information and do my makeup with you guys so you guys can see every little step that I do. And we can just have fun and do our makeup together. So right now I'm starting with a clean face. That is always my first step. And next I'm going to move on to prepping the skin, which includes moisturizing it. So my first step is using the Road Barrier Restore Cream. I am so obsessed with this stuff. It just plumps my skin so nicely and just makes it feel so hydrated. And this is the first moisturizer that I've ever tried that actually leaves my skin feeling moisturized even throughout the day and even after I put makeup over top. And for somebody who has really dry skin that is very important to me so I always do a nice layer of this on my skin first and let that sink in skincare is literally so important when doing your makeup I feel like the skincare can literally make or break what your makeup turns out looking like I'm telling you it's literally a game changer so if you have really dry skin make sure you're using a really good moisturizer first and then next up to kind of give me a little bit more moisture and also prime my skin more I like to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury magic serum crystal elixir this is her. This product is a little bit pricey, but it literally was such a game changer when I started using it on my makeup. I don't even know why. It's just like the best primer in my opinion. Like I just really saw a difference in my makeup when I started using this. So I will just put a few drops on either side of my face, just like that. And I will just rub it in everywhere. And this just makes your face feel so nice and just like prepped. Another step that I will do sometimes when I want to really make sure my pores are like covered up or let's say I'm having like kind of like a bad skin day, I will go in with one last primer and I will only use it in certain places. So I just got this primer in PR actually. It is the Makeup Forever pore minimizer primer i will just take a little tiny bit in my fingers and i will just put it right on my t-zone or right on my nose wherever i have like pores that i want to cover up and i will just kind of pat that into the skin and that's it i promise that's my last prepping step for foundation i have a few different products that i really love that i'm going to share with you guys so if you are looking for a really good like foundation like a heavy duty foundation that's going to last you all night i would 100% recommend the NARS Longwear Foundation. This is literally my holy grail foundation. But recently, I haven't been using this every single day. I literally just use this whenever I'm like going out to like a special event or something. For an everyday look, I've been really liking skin tints instead of foundation because they're just way lighter on the skin and it doesn't look as like heavy. I've just been really into the less is more when it comes to makeup. So my two favorites have been Beauty Blender Skin Tint and the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. These two are very similar in my opinion. However, this one is way more sheer like doesn't have as much coverage and is very glowy like it has kind of like a shimmer to it So I really like this on days that I really want to just like look like I'm not wearing any makeup at all But I still want like to cover up some stuff But if I'm being honest, I use this the most out of literally any of those products So the beauty blender skin tint is my 100% go-to. I use this literally every single day I'm in the shade medium too. I'm a little bit self-tanned. So that's why she's a little dark This formula is amazing. So it comes with a little drop and you literally just drop it onto your skin. It's super lightweight and like thin which is something I really like but it has amazing coverage and it has an amazing finish as well so I have been really liking to blend this out once I put it all on my face with a brush and I actually just got the refi brush this is my first time trying it disclaimer but I just know it's gonna be good because I see so many people using this on TikTok it's just a nice stippling brush to like blend out your foundation I think her name is Monet on TikTok this is where I found this brush from she always uses it and it looks so good when she puts on her makeup she like swirls it around so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm very excited to try like that Ooh. oh my god amazing i need to get a lighter shade of this skin tint because now that fall is here i'm starting to get a little pale for it um so that's why it may look a little darker but i'm telling you guys the finish of this is just so amazing and i'm gonna lighten it up a little bit with concealer too so don't worry so i'll just blend it out mainly with a brush like this kind of stippling it in and then i'll go in with a beauty blender wow i really like this brush then i will go in with a little beauty blender and i will just make sure everything is blended out seamlessly 
really just pressing that into the skin so that way it looks literally like your skin and it doesn't even look like you're wearing foundation at all. Literally look at that. Next up is cream contour. I also switched between two products for this so I really love the Rare Beauty in the shade Always Sunny. Usually I will like to just take this and draw on in the places that I like to contour. Little tiny lines. Not a lot at all. And then I will do a little nose contour so I'll do a little bit underneath the nose and then a little dot on the top. Sometimes do my eyes like that. The other cream contour that I switch between is the Milk Makeup in the shade Baked. I love this as well. Sometimes I will just use a brush and kind of mix them. Like I'm going to try to use this other side of the Refi brush and kind of mix them up a little and then start blending it out. I usually blend out my contour very messily at first, kind of just stippling it into the areas that I put it. And then I go back in afterwards with a beauty blender to blend it out properly. But at first I just kind of pat it in to really make sure it stays in the area that I placed it. I've really been enjoying fall, but like I did not miss how bad of lighting I have in my room once it starts to become like colder outside. I don't know why I get like so much less sunshine. So the lighting in my room is not always the best and it really annoys me. So I'm very sorry. I'm gonna try to work on figuring out some type of lighting situation for when I film in here. Oh, I really like this side of the brush. It's a very good, more dense stippling brush. I blend out the nose. Very messily, does not have to be perfect. And then I go back with my beauty blender and I just press that in like this. It's very important when you're blending out cream contour to not like drag it on your face, like whether you're using a brush or a beauty blender, you don't want to be like dragging it and like smushing it around. You want to just be pressing it into the skin like this. So that way it stays literally exactly where you placed it and it just blends out nicely to create that shadow of a contour, which is like what you want. So we're just gonna press this in like so. I'm also gonna try to link all these products down below for you guys. So that way you can easily go and shop it. So as you can see, contour is all blended out. It looks very nice and seamless. For concealer, I use two different types because I have two different shades and I like these two formulas. So I have the Tarte Shape Tape, which is in the shade Light Medium Honey. And with this, this shade I put this just around my mouth like so and on my forehead and a little bit on my inner corner like this it's not really too bright so this is just gonna kind of get rid of my dark circles and really even out any little blemishes that my skin tint missed I always bring my concealer onto my eyelids also then I go in with my Huda Beauty faux filter concealer this is in the shade 2.1 n it is very bright and like light like it's a very light shade so with this I really use this to brighten up my under eye and I go on the center right here and then I also swoop it up on the outer corner of my eye as well and I'll do a little bit on the nose too. Those are all the places that I want to like brighten and like swoop up and then I will start blending, just pressing it right into wherever I placed it. I don't want to drag it out anywhere else. You just want to really pat it in exactly where you put it. Then on the outer corners, I'll kind of blend it outwards all the way up like so to really swoop up the face okay is this better comment down below if you liked the lighting in the first half of this video or if you like the lighting right now because this is with my vanity light and sometimes i don't know if like this light is good or not so let me know but i feel like i need it right now because it's a little dark so this is what the face looks like with the concealer and the contour blended out as you can see that kind of really brightened up my under eyes and brightened up the whole look and now it is time to move on to blush which is one of my favorite parts for the fall time i've really been into this rare beauty shade of blush and the shade truth and it's like such a gorgeous fall shade and I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I really really do and with this I also have the Refi Gloss Highlighter in the shade Topaz and I really like to mix these two together when I put them on my face. So with the blush, I will just take a little tiny dot, like literally all you need is a tiny tiny dot like this and like this and I will put it on the apples of my cheeks. Then I take the highlighter and put a little bit on my ring finger like that. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade of highlighter. And I will just put a dot right next to it, kind of like right above. And just place it on the cheeks. And then I go in with a brush. This is the Sephora 55 brush. I love this brush for blush. And I will just start blending that out and like mixing them together on my cheeks. So kind of 
keeping it in the area that I placed it and blending her out. I feel like less is definitely more with these two products and it just looks so nice and natural. You can go back over with the Beauty Blender to make sure it's nice and seamlessly blended. So nice. I love those shades together. Now, I'm pretty sure we have all of our creams on our face and we can move on to powder to set it all and make sure it doesn't move. So my favorite powder is the Huda Beauty Translucent Powder in the shade Pound Cake. I love this powder so much. I always go back to it and I will take a little puffer, a little puffer thing like this. You can find these on Amazon. I'll have them linked in my Amazon storefront in my description. These are the best for powder and they're like so cheap too. I love them. So I will go over my concealer a little bit with the sponge to make sure there's no creasing before I set it in place and then I will take the powder and set that in place just underneath my eyes and bringing it upwards like that. And then with whatever's left on the puffer, I will go on my smile lines and like around my mouth or really set my t-zone in place because that's usually where most people get oily throughout the day and you want to make sure everything stays in place i'll also put a little bit on my forehead right in between my eyebrows and then blend it upwards to set all of that contour and also some on my eyelids once i set that in i kind of like to start wiping it away right away i don't like to bake um just because for an everyday look like i don't feel like i need to really bake i feel like Placing it for like 30 seconds really just does the job. Then we'll just take a little brush and start brushing it all away and blending it into the face. So once that is all blended out, now it's time to set the contour. So I will go in with some bronzer. So for bronzer, I really like to use the Real Techniques brush. This is the blush brush actually, but I use it for bronzer. I really need to clean her. And then I will use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade three. And I will just take a very little of this and dust it over the contour to really set it in place and warm up the face. I'm just putting it literally wherever I put the contour, like so. And then to contour my nose more, I just take the brush, like I'm so lazy, and I will just like kind of squeeze it like this, get a little bronzer and lightly dust some over where I put the cream contour on my nose, literally like that. I do a little line on the top and a little line on the bottom and it kind of gives you that like button nose look. And I will just blend and blend. I usually like to put a little bit on my crease because I'm not really big on eyeshadow. I just put a little bronzer in my crease and that's really it, so. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush because I'm obsessed with blush and you guys know my favorite blush is the ColourPop Swirled Pressed Powder. I literally just use the same brush as the cream blush and I just kind of pat that over top like so just to set it in place. A little bit on the nose because why not? Okay, um, for highlighter, my favorite like powder highlighter is this MAC highlighter from when we were younger. Like I'm pretty sure this highlighter is like five years old. Like I need to get a new one. But Soft and Gentle from MAC has been my favorite powder highlighter since high school. And I just haven't found one that I like as good as this one. It's like amazing. And this was like a fan favorite like back in the day. And she's still my favorite. Like I just can't get rid of her. Like look, I've hit pan already. She's been through everything with me. And she still looks so good. Like she's definitely expired, but like she does the job. And I will just dust this over top of my cheekbones and a little bit on the nose like so. And she just looks so good. She's so soft and gentle. Like that name is perfect because she's soft and she's gentle and it looks amazing. It just makes you look like a little fairy, so love her. If you couldn't tell already, I love doing the skin part of my makeup. Like, that's my favorite part to do. And then the eyes, I just do last because I'm not good at eyes. I just kind of do whatever. Um, but I will show you guys what I do because... I do the same thing every day. So like I said, I put a little bit of my bronzer shade in my crease. So sometimes I'll literally just go back with the bronzer with a little just like fluffy brush. Just do a little bit more on the crease to give it some dimension. And I kind of like flick it upwards just to, you know, give me a little eye lift. Someone needs to teach me how to do eyeshadow because I don't know how to do it. Sometimes I'll try to play around with different palettes and put like different browns in my crease, but like it's really just the same color. So whatever brown bronzer shade you want to put in your crease, that's what I do. And then I do a little wing with eyeshadow. And I feel like this is like my signature move now because you guys know I do this every day and I've shown it so many times. So this is just like my signature look. I've put everybody onto this. I put Becca onto this. I love it. It's the best. And I get oh, so many compliments on it too because it's still a wing liner, but it's not as like intense as like a liquid liner And it just looks softer and like nicer and like more natural You still get to like have the look of a wing if that makes sense So I really love this buxom palette. The title is literally like 
gone, so I forgot what it's called, but um, I just like this black shade, and I kind of mix it with this dark brown. I kind of like go like that. With a little brush, this is the Morphe M508 brush, but you can literally find any flat top brush. I have like a few different ones I switched between. They all do the job. And I will just kind of start at the outer corner of my eye and flick it upwards towards my end of my eyebrow. So like this, and just flick it upwards until it creates like a sharp line like that. And then I will just kind of connect it and create a wing. Like that's literally the wing super cute and mini thing crazy And then I will just take a little bit more and go my lower lash line a little bit Just just to connect it and that is completely it that I do for my eyes like Literally, that's it and then I'll do mascara so for mascara. I really love the L'Oreal lash paradise I just kind of did my mascara off camera because my camera stopped and I didn't realize it stopped Um, but yeah, I really love the L'Oreal lash paradise and it's so affordable it goes on so nicely doesn't clump or anything I'm obsessed with it. Um, but if you guys want a like higher end mascara recommendation I really love the Tarte tube mascara and also the Mac stackable mascara those two are really good But for mascara, I always feel like like you could just get drugstore mascara. I don't know. I just you can invest your money in like other parts of makeup, you know. So we are pretty much almost done. Now we just have to do the lip. My lip combos change a lot, but I'm gonna show you guys my go-to favorite of all time, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in medium two. And this is how I line my lips. But another favorite of mine recently is the Makeup Forever in Wherever Walnut. It is the perfect fall shade. They're very similar, but. I just feel like the Makeup Forever is a little bit of a different undertone, I have to say. So Charlotte Tilbury and Makeup Forever have the best lip liners ever. So if you're gonna want to find a lip liner, I would recommend either of those brands. Um, and how I line my lips is I kind of go on the bottom and I overline a little. Like this, just in the center. And then I do the same thing to the top. I overline and round it out. And then I just connect it to my inner corner like this. And I just kind of line it and leave the center empty because then in the center of my lips, I love to use the Buxom Lip Cream in the shade White Russian. You guys know this is my favorite. This has been my go-to lip combo for several months. So you guys definitely already know about this. I still get questions about it every day, so. Oh my god, who is blowing up my phone? See, it's just like the perfect fall lip combo in my opinion. I don't know, it just looks so good i'm obsessed with it um and i just have so many different glosses and just random lip plumpers that i put over my lips like different lip oils like i really like the rem beauty lip oil you just play around with lip combos and just find whatever lip products you love but yeah i think we're done this is the full makeup look what do you guys think i do this literally every single day of my life make sure you go and check out my description because i'm gonna have literally all these products listed down there for you guys i usually will set my face with a little bit of this milk hydro grip setting spray i love this stuff works so good i'm about to go do my hair really quickly because she is looking pretty rough and then i'll come back and like show you guys the full look yeah i'll be right back once i do my hair I'm done. I just kind of blew my hair out a little bit to give it a little bit more structure. That's the look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll most likely be making more of these in the future. I'm always just finding new products, like I said, that I love and like start incorporating them more into my everyday routine. So just stay tuned, okay? Because I just love makeup. That's pretty much it. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.